Welcome back. We have Alyssa Kylo joining us with Blake, who is our CFJC SBC Pet of the Week this week. And this is mm -hmm. his, re he's returning to the show for a second yes, time. Yes, he is. He's making a second debut because yeah. he's still with us. Yeah, he uh, needs he's a home. He's almost been with us for 60 days now. So okay. um, he is a senior pet, so he's often overlooked, especially when we've got cute puppies and younger dogs. And uh, he's a Rottweiler cross. Um, he might be full Rottweiler, we're not sure. He didn't come with papers or yeah. anything, so we just say that they're a cross. He is not a fan of cats, so he's, he's a cat chaser. Um, so we would suggest a home without cats, if mm -hmm. possible. Look at that um, face, he's just a baby. And we're not sure if he could adjust to living with uh, other dogs. Mm -hmm. he, in, we think he's been around small breed dogs before. Uh, we don't have too much history on him, so, uh, but we would be open to, you know, just like individuals, they can bond and adjust to living with with other personality types and things like that. Yes. But he's such a sweet guy, he's really easygoing, and that's kind of what you get with a senior pet. Yeah. You know what you're getting into, his personality's developed, he's just a really easygoing, loves his food. I don't remember if last time you remember he was drooling up a storm up he here. He was. Um, he's got his drool under control today. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, and he's actually going in for his second half of dental surgery on the 24th. Okay. So he does have some wear on his teeth. We think that he was confined in a cement area and he actually gnawed on the cement which wore his teeth down. Okay. Okay. Um, almost to the gum line. So we had to have those teeth removed and yeah. we had to split it into two different sessions. So okay. he's almost ready, but we're trying to get him out there just because we know senior pets take longer to adopt. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, if you have a loving home for Blake, he would like to meet mm. with you and it could be a fantastic yes. fit. Uh, a quick uh, word on a couple of different events going on. Uh, propane barbecues, uh, many of us have them. Uh, this yes. is a great fundraiser going on at the end of the month uh, on the 27th. Mm -hmm. It's uh, CanWest Propane for Pets, and it's in partnership with Petro Canada and the Kamloops Indian Band. Okay. So it's on Saturday, May 27th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And this is an event that our Vernon branch has actually hosted for many years. They've raised over $20,000 awesome. for the Vernon branch over six years. Okay. Uh, so we're very excited to bring this to Kamloops. And which pe uh, Petro Can is it at? It'll be at the Tecumloops Petro Canada on Highway 5. Okay, all yeah. right. Right so below it's... Sun River. $10 to fill. Yeah, $10 to fill your cylinder. So hopefully we have lots of good weather coming up. You can empty your cylinders and then get them filled up so they're ready to That's go again. That's right. Empty them over the long weekend and head on down <laughs> to Petro Canada and get them filled up on the 27th. Yes. Uh, one other event. We've got about 35, 40 seconds here. So Perfect. We'll sure. So we have another barbecue event at Market Fresh Foods out in Dallas. Um, so that's on the 19th, so this Friday, the long weekend. So we're going to be there. Uh, all proceeds from both barbecue events will be going to Kamloops and District Branch. So if you're out and about, just want to have a barbecue lunch, want to hang out in the sunshine, we're praying for sunshine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just come and visit us. Every little bit counts. Absolutely. Alyssa, thank you very much for being here. Again, if you would like to meet Blake uh, and provide him with his forever home, he would love to meet you. He's very sweet. He's very mellow, too, which is lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yes, 376-7722.